Hey everyone, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to talk about capital budgeting and the profitability index. So the profitability index measures the ratio between the present value of future cash flows and the initial investment. And this tool is very useful for ranking investment projects and showing the value that's created per unit of investment. So the way that we're going to find this is we're going to use the formula of net present value plus initial investment divided by initial investment. Our decision criteria is pretty straightforward. If the PI is greater than 1, we'll accept the project. The PI is less than 1, we'll reject the project. And in those circumstances where the PI is equal to 1, then we can say that we're indifferent and we may or may not accept the project. Generally, we agree that the higher the profitability index is, the more attractive the project is to the firm. So let's work an example. So we have a project with a cost of capital of 8%. Our initial investment is the cash flow at time zero. That's a $1,300 investment. We have a five-year project, and we have a series of five positive cash flows. So the first thing we're going to do is find the NPV of the cash flows from the project and then we're simply going to plug it into the formula. So here we are with our calculator and what we're going to do is we're going to use the cash flow worksheet. So I'm going to hit cash flow and it wants to know cash flow at time zero and that's going to be my initial investment of 1300 and that's a negative and so I'm going to say enter and then arrow down. So in year one, I'm going to have a cash flow of 410, enter, down. Remember this F of 01 is saying how frequently are you going to get that cash flow of $410. And in this case, all of our cash flows are unique, so F will always be 1. So we can just arrow down. Cash flow 2 is 540, enter, down, down. Cash flow 3, 710, enter, down, down. Cash flow 4, $360, enter, down, down. And then finally, cash flow 5 is 160, enter, down, down. You remember that the formula requires the net present value of the cash flows. So I'm going to use my NPV key. First thing it's going to prompt you for is I. I is always your cost of capital. In this case, it's 8%. So I'm going to enter that. And now I'm going to hit my down arrow. So it's saying compute NPV. So I'm going to use the compute key up here. Hit compute. And the net present value of those cash flows is $479.72. We're going to use this 479.72 figure to plug into our formula to calculate this PI. All right, so here we are. This is our NPV that we just um, calculated of the 479.72. Our initial investment was at $1,300. So plugging into the formula, I'm going to take the NPV of the cash flows plus the initial investment divided by the initial investment gives me this 1779.72 divided by 1300. So when I did that math, I came out with 1.369. I rounded that to 1.37. So the profitability index for this project is 1.37. And what we know from our decision criteria is we will accept the project since this PI is greater than 1. I hope that you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.